What up, y'all? This is Maurice Pogue. I'm the senior editor of the video game department of Geeks on the Grace. I'm excited on the tail end of AAA season to bring you Bad North, an indie game by Plausible Concept. Uh, that will be the developer. And it's published by Raw Fury. Now, I'm going to do a little pitch here for Raw, on the behalf of Raw Fury as it is a publisher. Early in the year, a lot of people were talking about a game called Celeste, okay? I feel like there's this other game that you might want to try called Dendera, and it's published by Raw Fury, developed by Long Hot Long Hat House. Um, on Geeks on the Grace website, um, I recently published a Christian Living article called The uh, Sav a Savior is Born, um, Christian Allegory, and Dendera. Because I really think that Long Hat House integrated much of its narrative around a savior concept um not unlike when harriet tupman was called white black moses united states um long hat house developed this game where dendera is sort of that kind of legacy so that's for raw fury okay the publisher um who also published bad north which is a real-time strategy game that is heavily tactical I have to admit, I was surprised. Um, now, this is Plausible Concept, the developer for um, Bad North, and then Raw Fury is the publisher. Okay, so we're going to jump in now with that little um, plug on the behalf of Raw Fury. I appreciate them giving me the opportunity to review this game. I'm doing this quick scope right now so that people who are curious about this game will get a feel for it. So. When you start the game, you're you're here, and you eventually conquer um, along the way. Um, I guess this little fog here is behind me. I'm not sure if it can catch up to you. I haven't found out yet. Um, but I am doing my best to collect all the items on the way. So if it allows me, I'll come all the way down here and come all the way back up. But you're not going to see that the whole video. In fact, I need to set my timer so that I make my quick scope an actual quick scope. So we're on 20 minutes now, so probably 25 total. Start with one commander, and along the way you collect others. Uh -huh. As you win, you collect coins to upgrade your stuff. You know, get ability skills. Up. Sometimes you collect an item um, to get reinforcements. You upgrade your veterancy. Mm -hmm. You can select different classes as well, which I, you can see I've done. Like, I need to upgrade this guy from regular infantry to veteran infantry. So we're gonna do that. <clears throat> and you can see in the pictures in the background mm -hmm. what they look like. All right. Um, I don't know what this is. Maximum squad size to 12. I actually mm -hmm. wanted to put that on my archers because I want more of them. Ah! And you can increase the size of them and the squad can get bigger. So that's actually really cool. I don't know what this key is, so we'll see. So, Bat North is a minimalist, uh, oh, minimalist or, um, real time strategy. Very small map, very simple. You can just spin it. You know, if you have like a Ryzen 2700X, I guess, it is not really taxing. As you can see, it's not graphically taxing. So, if you have a potato system, I say that endearingly. Excuse me. You can um, you can still play this game. So typically, I like to overwhelm forces in the wild. <clears throat> um, I think this game's rated T for Team. You can disable the button. Though. So if you want to get your kids started on a simple RP, uh, simple real-time strategy game, this is definitely a game that you might want to do that. Now, because they're approaching with archers, I don't want them to be able to shoot me from the shore. And I'm going to rush them when they get here. As you can see, when I click a unit, it pauses the game. Give me an opportunity to respond. Okay, so you can tell the difference between my regular swordsman and my high level ones. See the, the artwork down there? How it's different, how they're plain looking, and you can also see it in the game. Alright. 
So this map is kind of weird to where my archers can't quite get to where they need to be. But now they're bigger, too, because I just gave them that upgrade. So they could actually handle them by themselves if, they, if I let them. But I'm going to chase them down with some of my uh, swordsmen. Yeah, they should be able to handle that by themselves. Now these guys, the shields, looks like it's a mixed party. The thing with spearmen is that they need to be in position already because they can't move while fighting. The swordsmen can move while fighting, but the shieldmen cannot. Uh, the archers, of course, are long range, but they're not really good at fighting hand to hand. The spearmen are probably the best defensive unit overall. Well, they're not probably, they're certainly the best defensive unit overall. And now, uh, these are big bad boys, these veteran dudes. They're tough. You see how big they are compared to other units? The champions, I guess you could call them. Look at him hacking everybody. My unit's a little smaller, but that's okay. You can also replenish units by uh, telling them to go into houses, but that takes time. I've never lost a whole unit. I have, you know, haven't played this game, but for an hour or so, um, in my experience, it's possible to use them, but I have to. Actually, the scenarios where there are, the boats are getting loaded when you first start off. It's like. I was in a boat with like one or two um, enemies on it. Here are, the, here are the coins I was talking about. I was in a boat with one or two enemies on it. And um, I'll get to upgrade this guy eventually. Yeah, there we go. So that's a little neat. It tells you how many coins you need to, and says, hey, you have upgrades available. Excellent. I don't know why I would bow. Oh, they haven't, I haven't classed them yet. They don't have a class, so that's excellent. I can show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna get my archers upgraded too. Yeah, that's it. So I, I have a new commander. So that's what I gained. Ah. So that's what happened. This person was with was there, and he got benched. Okay. So in this game, hmm. This is the first time this ha I haven't had this many commanders before, so it's possible to um, have enough commanders. Because I don't I, look. Okay, so <laughs> let me back up. So one out of five commanders available. Usually, I don't have one that's benched. I use all four of them, and I have to do next turn, and then the map advances like this. Okay. So I'm going to try to zigzag on down here and then come back up. Um, yeah, I wonder if it would even allow that Like if I go backwards this way. Probably not. But anyway, um, so he hasn't been classed. He's the extra commander that I've gained in the last battle. I don't, I guess the key is his sign. Yeah, there it is. Call sign, call flag. So we can class him up. Now, I am a fan of the Spearmen. They're really strong. Defensive melee unit. Carrying long pikes, great at holding one position, but cannot fight while moving. So like, definitely want them to guard your shores. <laughs> and I get, if I had one more commander, perhaps, I could probably raid a map <clears throat> with like one archer, two Spearmen, and well, a Spearman and a Swordman. That's really, I feel like all I need. So like, if you want to sub out, this is how you do it right here. So you look at the layout. <coughs> if it doesn't really look um, ideal to have archers, you don't have to deploy them. They can be benched like that. So that's what we're going to do. Now, there's no high ground here. So I see no reason to deploy archers. And so you defend against the... Viking Invasion, look at that, two bruisers, instant. Yeah, you can even tell the difference between these two. Look at the helmets. Like, they have shields, but this is the more advanced party, I believe. Yeah, they're blue shields. Oh, they look, I don't know, those helmets. 
guys, and you'll see if they're over, they'll, they'll come over. I'm trying to see. What's the difference? Maybe the helmets are just different. There's artwork, but they're the same level. That'd be, um, that'd actually be kind of cool. So, the archer's coming. I want to move my vulnerable spearmen out the way. And arrive, get there right when they come on shore. So here's the tactical part. Wow, they are really shooting at over there. They're archers, right? The tactical part is, so you click and the game pauses. I think I mentioned this. Oh yeah, you can move on. So this thing about sword, they can actually move and reposition. Spearmen cannot. So, let's back up our units. So I like to put my spearmen right where they're landing. Oh, they're, that's a an weird angle. Big boat. There's a lot of pausing and repositioning and all that. Final wave of incoming or is it already? Well, that was very violent. So you can notice that your spearman clan, your spearman group is smaller, is taking damages. So I don't want my smaller group to fight against this oncoming. Plus, they don't have helmets. They're a lower class. These have been veterans. So they're going to take on the big That's how it, That's how the game is, man. That's a very small island. Oh, what was it? Yeah, I want to veteran my spearmen eventually. All right, so what is it going to let me do? What does that mean? Nothing? I don't know. So I didn't get punished? Okay, cool. That kind of scared me. I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. Alright, so now you definitely want to deploy your archers. And you have a choice between this extra set of spears. So I'm going to go with my veteran swordsman. That's what we're going to do here. because of this high elevation now they could be invading all around here and my like just like they're coming right here they're coming my archers can't get there but plus they have shields so it doesn't really matter that much so I like to position so the thing is the Vikings are trying to get to your houses and, and shoot them so because this is a minimalist minimalist real-time strategy game. I am... I call myself specializing in strategy games. Let's see. My archers. So, it hasn't posed me any problems yet. Like, I would recommend this game so far for people who are not that familiar with real-time strategy. But my archers are not really doing it. They haven't been needed. Killed one of my dudes. Look, look how small they are. So you can warhorn to replenish. So that's what I'll do. I'll just say that's an item. Okay, that doesn't. You don't come with that. You gotta collect it after doing a battle. But they're still small. That that, that scares me because if you lose your group, um, you lose like you lose forever as commander. So we're gonna think we just sold them. In. Oh, he got knocked down. That was pretty neat. That little animation. Yeah, when you if you replay this video, you watch this dude right here. He gets knocked down. So I wonder if that makes him more vulnerable. Finally, get to use my uh, archers. So you got to be careful with your placement here. Because if you get it wrong, yeah, there's no reason for y'all to be up there. That guy looks like an assassin or something. He's got like a oh, he's got a shield. It's just a wrong angle. I'm like, man, dude, this is tight. Alright, so. Alright, so it's getting the, the troops are getting thin. Looks like the game is getting harder now. So, it's 
gonna be up to y'all to hold the line. They made it through. So now you gotta chase them with your swordmen because your remember your spears have to already be in position. They can't fight while um while moving. So the house survived. That's the closest uh the game has ever gotten to like taking one of my houses. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Well yeah, game is actually getting harder in real time. All right, what did I want to do again? Beers, no. Make them better? I don't know, I think I feel like I'm putting a little po too many points into them. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, dog. So yeah, you just you just keep going. Eventually, I'll have another uh, what do you call it? Um, veteran here. I wonder what happens if the map. Well, oh wow, flat. Oh hmm? well, yeah, that's this is good to have another spearman, which I will definitely upgrade him to the veterancy. So yeah, you can't spend the money that you earn from houses. And this is one little house, so this is I guess this would be a really hard map. <laughs> considered a hard map. And if you literally have one house to protect, you're not going to get much from it either. But, remember there's a question mark here, so I wonder what that's about. So we'll see. A very minimalist game, as you can see. I keep saying that. But, yeah. Not graphically intensive. <laughs> this on a potato computer, I imagine. So I am kind of like, when I played this, I was like, uh, are they really gonna land on that little divot there? Mm. Let's see how they handle that. I wonder if there's fatigue and stuff like that, like, um, elements that you can detect in the game that um, actually exist. What are you landing on? A little spot here? <clears throat> like, how do you even get to them? How do you get there? What is that? Too. Oh, I'm about to lose the game right now. That's crazy. I don't even have a house to replenish once the champions arrive with their throwing axes and such. Come on, where are my people? Where's my other dude? 
guy. Oh, there, this is it. A question mark divot on the map ended up being a trap, huh? And now I can't, I can't even get to those guys through the, the layout of the island. See if I walk through them, what happens. survive barely but I'm not gonna get any gems and I've lost three commanders plus their artifacts their items yeah I wouldn't call that that's a Pyrrhic victory oh I get an item Wow and I don't have any points either well Okay, so in that instance, I'm like, does the game get hard because this map is following me? So there's still stuff I need to learn, but the other part of that is the difficulty spike was instant. <laughs> I didn't lose like one commander and it's like, okay, I need to tighten up my defense. I lost three at one time. That's, yeah, so I guess this thing said it's a roguelike, um, this thing, Bad North is also described as having roguelike elements and I get that. It's actually roguelite, but I'll, I'm not gonna worry about the, uh, the nomenclature. Um. So usually you have like a gradual difficulty spike and then it allows the player to adjust. But like you saw like on live video right there, I went from like pretty dominant position to like dead. And that's uh, I don't know. I don't know about that, that method of balancing. So that didn't come to light until really I just started playing this. They're running away. So, my archer is going to save the day for now, but once those champions start appearing, it's going to be rough. I wish there was a way I could, instead of zooming center mass of the map, I wish there was a way you could zoom in like a specific area. I know it's, you know, minimalist and all that kind of stuff, but. I like a Total War style where I have more control of what I can see. Like even the, the keyboard only allows you to rotate um, in a circle-like pattern. I don't know where to put them. Where to put them. Yeah, here come those champions with those big gold shields. I wonder if that dude dark in the back indicates, yeah, he, he's bloody, so he's hurt. I haven't seen that before. Oh, wow. Oh, throwing axes. Elevation always wins, though. Yeah, my guy died. Meantime, it allowed more people to arrive on shore. Uh, these people are going to get veteran rapidly because <laughs> I don't have any other um, people to spin this on. Ouch, man. Well, I don't know what these icons mean, but um, yeah, you want to go there to get items except this question mark. Like, <laughs> man, that jacked me up. I guess I should have known better, though, because I had... Okay, so... Admittedly, I had not paid attention to the layouts of the maps like all this time Look at all these maps, but look it shows you it shows you that 
this is a difficult map to navigate. Not that that would have changed anything, though. Because the only, like, my archers, well, the enemy archers were killing me. They weren't killing me, they were just being annoying. Which caused me to put my swordsmen out of position where they should have been helping their comrades. And that's when I became overwhelmed. So yeah, so that's the strategy lesson that that I was, was to learn. I wonder if you can actually fall behind here. So I'll probably go here, here, if I live. Here, here, here. And then keep going so I can get ahead of this fog. Is it forming? Is it still forming? I haven't seen that before. So I don't know. I don't know if you keep going or how long the game lasts. But yeah, that's the idea. So... I just, at the end of the video, I explained what my mistake was, I underestimated the archers, the layout of the map, which caused me to move an important offensive unit out of position, which weakened my forces, and they ended up being decimated, and so this is what I have left. <clears throat> now, ideally, I'll find some more commanders, and I can get back up to speed, but that's a devastating blow. So, here I am, what, night turn 19? 18, 20, 21, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'll uh, write in my review um, what things I've learned, such as what you've seen, in case you prefer a video with this quick soap. And uh, I'll update you if you've watched a quick scope on if I was able to keep going with this map, right? So this is Bad North, a real-time strategy game by possible concept currently $14.99 on Steam I recommend it so far especially for individuals who do not feel that real-time strategy games are their forte the simplistic nature of it makes it accessible now I don't know if there are background elements such as uh, unit fatigue and whatnot or like I said elevation in real in strategy games like Total War elevation you want elevation you want to fight defend the high ground I'm not sure if that comes to play here um, those sorts of hidden mechanics definitely archers do though you know the elevation they can shoot from farther um, so we'll figure it out we'll figure out how simple this game is but you don't have to manage resources you know you don't have to um, when you click a unit the action pauses to give you an, an ability to assess the situation and move units around so yeah very accessible for those of you who are not used to excuse me you're not used to um, actions per minute all right. All right, so that's it. That's a quick scope. I'm Marge Poe with Geeks in the Grace. Um, peace out, y'all.